Welcome. Good morning. Uh, morning to you. How are you? Not so bad. You are fasting? You are fasting? Are you fasting? Uh, no, it's okay. It's okay. You're, not, you're not fasting. We are fasting, but thank you. Glad that okay. you're here. Now, ni kocha uh, wa timu ya taifa Arambe Star Sebastian Minyambi ashafika studio ni kwa ufupi tatuzungumza mengi kusiana na maandalizi yake na safari ya kuweza kuelekea Ufaransa mechi mbili za kirafiki na baadaye kuweza kwenda katika mechi zake za kwanza kuna mengi tutakua yazungumzia kwa hiyo tumo ujumbe fupi kwa mbili mbili nne mbili mbili na nitakuwa naungana naye Jacob Isia pia kuweza kuzungumza mengi uh, the provincial squad are out both for Chan and Afcon yeah as a coach, are you fully behind this squad? Of course. Of course. Uh, it's a long process. You know, we, we thought about it since uh, one year now. We tried to build uh, a strong squad, uh, able to compete at the high level. And uh, the beginning, uh, the continuity of the adventure and the beginning another one. Now uh, with a huge event, uh, we nominated 30 names. We will reduce at 26, and uh, finally 10 days before the competition at 23. 23. It's not so easy. We need to think about uh, everything. Uh, maybe it's not the, the best 30 Kenyan players, but it's the best to constitute the best group. You know. Uh, you need to think about uh, the quality of the players, about the harmony in your group, because we will live uh, three weeks at least during the preparation all together, and uh, we need to cohabit between men, you know. Plus the competition, sometimes it's not easy, and we need to think about it and about also about the future. So it might not be the best uh, team for this country, but the best team according to your plan and strategy for the AFCON. The best group. The best group. You know, to compete well uh, for this kind of competition. Na mnafikiri ni hoja ya kimsingi sana mbosa basi ya minya meza kuyakawata na sema kwamba wenda ikawa si kikosi bora cha taifa la Kenya. Lakini ni kikosi ambacho ndio bora zaidi chakweza kuenda kupambana na lile kundi letu ambo tuko nalo kule Afcon. Ni swala moja muhimu zaidi. Now let us go back to the selection of the, your provincial squad. Players who are playing outside the country. What were the criteria? Did you, ha did you have scouts monitoring them or did you do the job yourself as the coach? Uh, I have many things. Uh, first one, I follow the players. There is some platform. Uh, y scoot for example and uh, each uh, Monday I have a highlight of uh, and sometimes a full game for all my player abroad and uh, after we have some information uh, plus we follow the local league it's also important and some League in Africa, uh, I'm lucky because here I can follow Zambian League, uh, South African League on TV and, uh, and sometimes also you travel to follow, to follow the players. It was the case with uh, Wanyama, for example. You in, went to England? And in London, yes, uh, at the end of the last uh, year to meet him and uh, I know he has a good training session with Pochettino, it's not the problem, but sometimes to, uh, to have a, a good feeling with him, he's a captain of a team, it's so important. And uh, in terms of budget, sometimes it's difficult uh, to go in Sweden, for example, to, to follow the players, but uh, we have all the information and we don't have a lot of players abroad uh, today uh, for Kenya. Uh, that means we know they have qualities for that. And uh, the more important for me is to follow the local league and to try to find new talented players and to think about the sham because it will be the next target also. So this selection according to you, is it a long term selection that you are thinking even beyond AFCON or this is just a short term selection just for the tournament that is ahead of us? I think it's the best squad for this tournament. After all, it will be a new adventure. The door will be open to, to go out and to come in in the team. It's uh, the life of football team, you know. Permanently you need to think how we can improve the team. 
And uh, it's the same, for example, uh, today I name uh, 30 names, but uh, I will wait for next week to announce the 26th because uh, a lot of things can happen. Uh, there is some game this weekend, next week also, and uh, it will be important to try so, so to convince me. Okay, so w w what you are trying to, to, to tell uh, the public is, apart from the 30 names that are already out, eh, yes. those guys who are not on that squad eh, and are playing some matches on the local league or even the national uh, market or so, they have a chance if they prove to you. Of course. They can get a chance. Of course. Uh, I told you the door is always open. For example, some players are, are in my provisional squad for Shan. Uh, what I expecting uh, to discover, uh, to have some new answer, and to put them for in September or October uh, for the new qualifier. It's so important, you know. Uh, I'm waiting for some good answer. Good answer. Na nafikiri ilo na nasaidia sana kwamba kuna mechi za dabi na wengine wa kwamba Sebastian Mnyana nasema kwamba mlango uja fungo. Kiweza kumbridhisha katika ese mecha mbeza kusalia uenda kwa na kujumuisha katika eze vikosi manake awezi kunyima vipaja. Nisa kwa nabia kwaneka moja tuisia kwa za kuzumza kabla tuende mapumzi kwa mafu. Yeah, welcome again coach and uh, one thing that you say that is very important about uh, setting up a group that fits uh, your plan for AFCON. Maybe what do you tell maybe a player who thought they are very good for AFCON, but they are not uh, part of the school that you have named. Maybe a player believes they are very good for AFCON, but you are, seeing, you are talking about a group. What can you tell such a player? I cannot uh, talk about one player, but uh, for example, the reality uh, of today is not the reality of tomorrow. We fought about the, the best squad actually ready to compete uh, in a good harmony and to compete well for this tournament. Some player was very close uh, to enter on my final list, but maybe it was not a good time for that. Uh, we, we practice a good qualifier phase and uh, now we, we have, s we build something with some confidence and uh, we need to keep it. It's not a good time to, to have a lot of change. Maybe one, uh, one surprise with Favire, for example, but uh, I don't know if he will be in the final squad. But uh, it's not uh, a good time to change everything. After the competition, it will be uh, another way. Another way. Uh, some believe there was some surprise inclusion of some players. Do yeah. you, do you believe on the word surprise on your Chan uh, uh, squad? I, the best surprise for me, it was uh, when I discovered we have today in Kenya 50 million potential and national coach, you know. And uh, it was not the case one year ago. Uh, everybody uh, doesn't care about the national team. Uh, today, everybody is concerned by, by it. After, uh, there's my staff and there is uh, finally only one who can decide. Uh, who is in the final list. Uh, I can accept a different comment, but uh, honestly, do you think I will, uh, I will build the team uh, without the best player uh, able to compete for this competition? I will be completely crazy. We, we thought about, we try to, to think about everything and uh, I hope it will be the, the good choice, but since one year, I think we, we demonstrate uh, it was not so bad until now. Not so bad. Trust on, uh, on me, please, <laughs> on my staff. Na labda vingine isi ya takatoni mapumbisiko kidogo lafiki tuweza kuendelea. Lafikiri kitu mpacho mesema anafraya kwa mba zaidi kuna watu wengi ambao wanajaribu kuweza kukosoa mamuzi yake. Anapenda kwa mba zaidi ya milioni ya rubaini na ya wa Kenya wameanza kujiusisha na kikosi cha timu ya taifa Rambe Stars. Ni jambo muimbu na anataka kwa mba halio iweze kuendelea lakini mwishwa kusha uwezi kwa na kikosi ambacho kitaweza kufuraisha kila mtu. Hichi kikosi kwa kauli yake uenda kawa siyo kikosi bora cha timu ya ama cha inchi ya Kenya. Lakini ni kosi bora ama ni kundi bora la kutua ushindani bora kule Mr. 